Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Elo Bandit, and today I'm bringing you another 1v1 laddering session, this time featuring a team called Trouble Clef. This is a Clefable Beast based Clefable Beast team, because Clefable is a beast, uh, accompanied by uh, Hotcakes the Heatran and This Isn't OU the Land OT. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. We're up against Alone Cubone, and he's bringing an Alola Walk, a Gardevoir, and <clears throat> a Dawn Fan. So, I'm really feeling the Clefable right now. I think that uh, it has a good chance versus both Dawn Fan and his Gardevoir. However, I think Heatran is a better option overall, or it would be if I had HP Ice, but I don't, so never mind, that will not beat Dawn Fan. Okay, Clefable it is because I'm expecting a Dawn Fan. Alright, so this is pretty decent. Um, I'm Pretty sure I can tank a hit and two hit KO with Ice Beam. Um, I guess we will find out. I'll start the timer on this man. So he's gonna go ahead and hit the Z move. It is going to Oko. That's unfortunate. That probably means that I'm pretty Dawn fan weak and I'm gonna drop drop down 1566. Joy. Okay, so um, this team, you can switch a couple things around on it if you want. One of those is Hidden Power Ice on the Heatran. Um, you can switch it off for Earth Power if you really if you really feel the need. Um, the other thing you could potentially switch around is Unaware can switch to Magic Guard if you need to beat a status abusing team. Um, Calm Mind um, and Counter are interchangeable here. They both work quite well. Calm Mind is better at dealing with things like Tapu Fini, whereas um, of course Counter is better at dealing with special or physical attackers. Now Enigma Plus. This fellow right here looks like he needs to take uh, Lando T to the face because... Oh, Crustle. I was actually expecting a Tapu Coco pick there. But this works too. I'm just going to go ahead and rock slide him twice. Because after a shell smash, um, it should be a two hit KO. And I am actually going to outspeed thanks to my Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf Landorus is seriously underrated in 1 vs. 1. Um, this is the set that I use. Pull, pull it up here. Um, 28 defense EVs let you tank any move from Charizard X, making it so that you can pretty much just hit Rock Slide versus any Charizard you run into and guarantee a win, which is which is huge, which is really nice. So we're up against uh, Landon 21, and I'm expecting a Charizard, and if not Charizard, I'm expecting Metacham because I have Heatran. So I'm picking Landorus, um, knowing that it can beat both of his Megas, uh, just really, really hoping that he's not going to go for the Meloetta pick here. Huh? Alright, he is actually going to go Meloetta, unfortunately, so it looks like I should have gone with the Heatran pick. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click Earthquake and lose to this, but that's okay. I would have beaten either of the other two. Alright, so we're up against Alone Cubone again. Ah, this feels... This kind of feels like a C team, doesn't it? Um, I do have HP Ice now on this on this Heatran. I hope this doesn't count as just a direct counter team, because I guess I did put that on at kind of a... kind of a bad time. But I think we win this anyway. I can just flash cannon, no problem. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about taking off Earth Power, because I haven't seen any other Heatran yet, which is the only thing that that really is for. Rock Tomb plus, um, of course, Earth Power will help you beat other Air Balloon Heatran. Hyper Beam is going to scratch me. That's fine. Flash Cannon, and you're gone. Two hits. <clears throat> Drop the GG and we're out of there. Up to 1592, almost 1600. Hopefully we can get there this game. Now I'm actually expecting a Gyarados pick here because I picked Landorus and I beat his Crustle. So there's no way that he's not going to go the thing that beats Landorus. And yep, there's the Gyarados. But luckily I've got my wonderful Clefable. It's got all sorts of ways to deal with this Gyarados. Um, Thunderbolt is going to drop it almost in one hit. I think, yeah. 90% and a Paralyze. Not bad. I don't think that... I don't think I actually needed the Para. I think I tank anything at plus one. 
because this is my Gyarados counter. Uh, but yeah, well played, well played Enigma Plus. And yeah, right there, that'll break us over the 1600 mark, so that's pretty nice. Hopefully I won't lose that in the next couple of battles. That would be a little embarrassing. So yeah, the team. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about... Nope, we're not we're not going to talk about anything. We're just going to go up against Alone Cubone again. And I'm picking Heatran again because I've not yet revealed Hidden Power Ice, which I'm going to pull against this Dawn fan. But no, he's actually elected to bring Marowak, which all of a sudden beats me because I miss Rock Tomb and I don't have Earth Power anymore. So <laughs> I guess that's just how this is going to go. Rock Tomb is nowhere close to a 2 hit KO, so I really can't complain. He definitely deserved that win there. All right, let's let's grab another. So yeah, this is pretty much just max speed because we need to be as fast as possible. Um, Hidden Power Ice is another option on this Landorus T set because it helps you beat other Landorus T, which can be huge. Um, this matchup, uh, these guys got three things that threaten me. Um, Heatran beats his Megierna. Landorus beats pretty much nothing, and Clefable has a decent chance against everything but Megierna. So, I'm kind of feeling Clefable here. If he wants to pull Mags, then I guess I can deal with that. But All right, but it's just going to be Gyarados, so I'm going to go ahead and just Thunderbolt it and watch it drop. He is going to go for the Mega. And I suppose now we'll see what that, uh, that plus one can do. Crunch, please. Oof. Note to self, I should just Moonblast. That's probably a better play. Ooh, ah, gross. That was mm, not not super ideal. So I do have to be careful because if they don't Mega on the Thunderbolt, then it's not going to be a proper two hit KO. So it might actually be better to simply Calm Mind turn one into a Moonblast. That might actually be the best uh, play versus Gyarados. So that's good to know. Um, I'm going to pull Landorus here because he's not going to go Gyarados again. And if he does, I'm going to hit Superpower and hope I get lucky. That's what's going to happen here. Superpower, it's going to do 50. Ah, my attack's going to drop. He's going to dance up. So this actually would have won if he was a little bit less bulky. Unfortunately, he had that HP defense invest, so I am going to lose this one. Okay. I totally jinxed myself. Rip 1600 elo. Not happening. <laughs> Alright, we're up against Landon again. And um, this time I'm really feeling the Heatran pick. I think that's actually a good idea. Um, is he's going to pull Meloetta again. So that works out for me, I think. Unless he's got Focus Blast. I'm just going to go ahead and drop a Flash Cannon. Hopefully I'll get a Spadef drop. That would be really nice. But no, in fact, I'm not even going to touch it. I'm going to use Rock Team just so that I can drop its speed and outpace it the next turn. But with those Calm Mind Boosts, I'm actually worried about getting through it at all. So, mm, I don't know. This is kind of a rough matchup for me. Meloetta is potentially problematic for this team. A Breakneck Blitz is going to do 70%. Jeez, that's a little extreme. I'm going to drop the crit for 64, but it's not going to be enough because Shadow Ball is just going to boop finish me off oh well at least Landon's getting high up there all right we're gonna get a couple more battles in Alrighty, this time I'm feeling I'm feeling if I go Heatran he's definitely just gonna take Gyarados and kill me so I'm actually gonna go Clefable hoping 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 that he doesn't go Megirna and it is gonna be a Gyarados <clears throat> and now I know the best thing to do is to simply Calm Mind on turn 1 and hit him with a Moonblast on turn 2 once I know that it's Mega. I think that is the best overall play. So he gets the Dance, I get the Calm Mind, and I should be able to one-shot with this Moonblast. Nope. 
I'm gonna flinch to death and kill myself. Da 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 da. Fifteen hundred elo. We just lost a hundred elo just with this shitty clefable set. Yay. Uh, okay, I'm thinking maybe more special attack might actually be the right direction to go with this, since we don't really need spadef for anything, and I would rather just make sure I KO uh, Gyarados, since that that's the most important thing. But up against Miniature Max, um, I'm feeling the Landorus because I think I'm going to bait in his Porygon. It's actually going to be Jump Bluff. But this is actually a decent matchup since I do outspeed and I can just click Rock Slide. I'm not going to fly because that loses to Substitute. I'm going to miss Rock Slide because this game fucking hates me. He's going to get a Substitute for free and I'm going to lose because of that. Yikes. Okay. He lands the Sleep Powder. Maybe I'll get a first turn wake. You never know. Nope. Nope. Maybe? Okay. Alright. I land the Rock Slide. 64%, not bad. Substitute fails at 25, and I might actually take him out here. Fifty-two, just need to land this, and there it is. Jump up gone. Get the hell out of here. Another reason I actually like uh, Hidden Power Ice sometimes on Scarf Lando T, it helps out your jump up matchup significantly. Alrighty, so we're up against Alone Cubone again. I'm gonna pull Heatran into the Dawn Fan because I'm almost certain he's gonna pull Dawn Fan. It's actually gonna be Gardevoir again for some reason. But I'm pretty sure. I'm actually not gonna Flash Cannon. I know that Flash Cannon isn't a KO. Um, so I'm actually gonna Rock Tomb first. I'm gonna make sure I outspeed him the following turn. Wow, that did not do damage even on a crit. That's a little bit disappointing. Not even confirmed. Yikes. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So, yeah. Pretty much just hit Flash Cannon against Gardevoir. If in doubt. Alright. Rift 99 again. Ah, uh, this guy's been pulling Gyarados. So, I guess I have to pull Clefable again. Hopefully he's not going to pull a switch into Magierna, that would be really obnoxious. And I can't just pick my Heatran to counter that willy-nilly because I have to assume that he's pulling Gyarados again. So it is Gyarados again. And at this point I've switched my EVs into Special Attack because I need to be able to kill Gyarados. That's an absolute must. So I'm just going to go ahead and Moonblast twice. Because that's the maximum damage that I can do in two turns knowing that he's Mega Evolving. So it is going to do 52%. This is a two-hit KO. Very nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that good. That's that's as, that's as good of a counter as I think I can actually set up with this because this is a benchmark for something. This is a benchmark for something. And the Spadef I think was only for Porygon Z, but it only survived Timid and not Modest, so not really worth it uh, since Porygons do run Modest nowadays to beat Gyarados actually. All right, so Gyarados is gonna go down. I'll take that win. And we'll look for another one. Alright, come on up against Landon A. Um, I do have Calm Mind Clefable, since I know he's going to go Meloetta. This seems like the right pick. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Calm Mind again, because... Oh my goodness, that was such a terrible idea. I should have just gone straight for the attack. Um, why don't I have a recovery move on this set? I really feel like I should have a recovery move. He's going to finish me with a side shock here, and there's nothing I can do about it, because I should have just attacked him. This is uh, a little disappointing that this team loses so badly to Meloetta. This is, yeah, it's not supposed to lose this badly. Alright, so I'm assuming he's picking a Lola walk here, so I'm going land OT into that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put um, Earth Power back on Heatran. I'm going to stick Hidden Power Ice. Uh, just to just show that off on Landorus as another option that you can run. I'm going to not drop my special attack. I'm going to drop my special defense instead. So there's the Gardevoir. Again. Great. Looks like I'm actually going to lose this one. I don't know why he felt he, he should go Gardevoir again. That was probably not the right pick. And I'm going to barely miss the two-hit KO. Man. Nope. 
not gonna miss it. I'm gonna pick it up, just barely. I'm gonna pick it up, and we're gonna hit 1577. That's not too bad. All right, coming up against Landon A again. I'm really feeling Scarf Lando T into this team, honestly. It just looks like it wins, unless he pulls out, um, like, a really, really fast Specs DOS. That's the only thing that I'm actually worried about. Because this should beat Mimikyu 100%, and it should beat Incineroar 100%. But I guess we will see. Alright, so he is going to go Deoxys Speed. That's really unfortunate because this might actually outspeed me even with my Choice Scarf. Maybe not, maybe not. I'll get the Earthquake off. It's not going to KO. Ice Beam is going to kill me, and that's going to be the end of me. Hooray! <laughs> Will I ever hit 1600 again? Find out next time on Elo Bandit. Ladders this stupid fucking tier. Alright, Rift 99 again. He's been pulling Gyarados pretty consistently, but he he did just lose to Michael Fable, so it would make sense for him to pull Megiarna now. I'm going to make that prediction. I'm just going to go Heatran, but he's just going to pick Gyarados again, so really, like, what am I even doing with my life? I'm going to drop a Rock Tomb because I have no other options. He's going to Dragon Dance, so it's not going to make one damn bit of difference. He's going to kill me the next turn. It's whatever. I'm going to drop the Earth Power, but it's not going to do anything at all. la da 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 Oh boy, 20%. Wait, he's Outrage? Why is he Outrage? He might actually lose this. Why is he fucking around with Outrage? Literally, he would win with Crunch. If he hits himself in Confusion here, he's gonna lose, just straight up. Show me. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yeah! That's what I like to see. That's how you beat a Gyarados with a Heatran. You just make sure the Gyarados doesn't have Waterfall and then you win. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, Landon A again. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. He's going to pull Deoxys again. I know this. But I'm going to assume that he's not, and I'm going to pull Lando T again. Because that's what that's what real 1v1 players do. See, see, I... <laughs> this is... <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I'm taking the I'm taking the thirty percent flip. This guy, Landon is an absolute legend. He's been playing this for quite a while. I think I actually might have brought him into this quite a while ago. But um, either way, yeah, Landon, a great player. He's beaten me I think every single time I've run up against him this laddering session. Jesus, calm down, dude. All right, we're coming up against Foop Scoop. And he's got his uh, Tapu Fini, he's got a Zygarde and an Agron. This looks like quite a bulky team. Um, I'm feeling Clefable, honestly. I don't like the matchup against Agron, but I do like the other two matchups. So I'm actually going to take that here, expecting a Tapu Fini. He is going to actually pull Zygarde, but I do have Ice Beam for that. Hopefully this is um, a two-hit KO. I really think it should be. Oh dear, this was... Okay, so this is one of those times where you have just barely too much defense, and then you hit him, and he hits you, but you didn't quite pop your Citrus Berry, and now he's got a little bit more attack, and now he's going to two-hit KO me, instead of me two-hit KOing him. That's just one of those days. I don't know. You can probably tell that I'm pretty damn tilted at this point, which is accurate. I am. But we're up against Landon A one more time, and I do want one last shot at Retribution against this man. So we're actually going to pick our Hidden Power Ice Lando T into his Lando T, which he is undoubtedly going to pull right now. I can see it. It's coming. I'm prepared for it. Ah, fuck this game. I should just title this video, Elo Bandit Gets Wrecked by Landon a thousand times in a row on ladder. And then... Uh, yeah, that'll get some views. Earthquake's doing just about nothing. Iron Defense is gonna save him. And, uh, I have zero chance of critting. Why are you slacking, bro? Just, just scald me, and I, and I lose. Yeah, that's what, yeah. 
Okay. All right. What are my thoughts on Deoxys Speed in 1v1? Yeah, that's all. That's all I have to say about that. And we're gonna find our last battle against uh, Rift 99. And we are gonna go Clefable because I want to beat this stupid Gyarados. He thinks he's gonna outplay me here because he just lost to the Double Moon Blast. He thinks, oh, I'm gonna non-mega. And nope, nope. That's what happens when you. That's what happens when you overpredict. <laughs> you guess wrong. Okay, he's gonna attack me here, and I'm gonna hope that Moon Blast is a KO. Waterfall not gonna be enough. Come on, can I just? Can I just hit him? I like. This is the sound of Elo Bandit in pain. Dropped all the way back down to the 1500. Okay, okay. We're gonna get one more. We're gonna get one more win. One more win, and then I'm I'm just cutting this whole thing off because this has gone on too long. This is this is just driving me insane, and I need a break uh, pretty quick coming up here. So. So yeah, this is a team. Uh, exportable team in the in the description, of course. Um, probably with moveset uh, other options as well. But yeah, I do like this set. Sometimes I wish I was a little bit more special attack invested. Sometimes this doesn't hit quite as hard as I would like. But it is quite fast and it is quite bulky. I think it's a pretty good balance. Alright, so here we go. Here is our last match versus 1v1 meta lol. We are going to pick Lander's T 100% because he's going to pick Charizard, and I want to show that off. I want to show off that matchup. Why do I keep Why do I keep thinking that anyone is going to go anything other than Gyarados, ever? It's Gyarados. Why would you not pick it? Right? Luckily, Superpower is a two-hit KO if he's fast and hits Dragon Dance like an idiot. Also, where's his sprite? There it is. Okay. But no, it's going to turn out that he is, in fact, bulky... He is, in fact, going to survive my second superpower, and I'm going to recede into the depths of the obscure high 1400s. Alright. Phenomenal. I can't end on that note, so we're going to get one more win in, and then I'm probably going to throw in the towel for the day. Up against a lone Cubone one more time. I really want to pull Landorus, but I don't want to lose to the Gardevoir again. I really want to pull Heatran, but I don't want to lose to the uh, Dawn fan. I'm just gonna go Heatran because I I can't I can't take it if he goes Gardevoir. Luckily, I do have Earth Power on this, so I can go ahead and just drop that a couple of times. And we're gonna take him out. And that's going to be GG, and we're back up to the 1500s, and frankly, I'm just going to have to stop it there, because I don't want to lose anymore today. I think I've lost enough. <laughs> we had a couple of good battles in there, um, but a little bit of a little bit of a frustrating uh, laddering session at threat at times. So, that pretty much wraps us up. Um, thanks to everyone for tuning in and sticking around to the end. Um, if you like my stuff, uh, feel free to stick around next time. I'll probably be doing some similar stuff in the near future exportable sets in the description and thank you all for watching.